The United States has decided to transfer over a million rounds of seized Iranian ammunition to Ukraine. News.com has learned that this move comes at a critical juncture when the Ukrainian military is facing shortages and waiting out the lull in support from the U.S. and its allies. U.S. officials have expressed that this transfer is an attempt to alleviate some of the challenges faced by the Ukrainian armed forces. According to the U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, more than a million rounds of seized Iranian ammunition have already been transferred to Ukraine, which took place on October 2 and was announced by CENTCOM two days later, CNN reported. These munitions were obtained by the U.S. government on July 20, 2023, through the Department of Justice's claims of civil forfeiture against Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. This came after the Justice Department announced its intent to confiscate 1 million rounds of Iranian ammunition, as well as proximity fuses and propellant for rocket-propelled grenades in March. The operation that led to the confiscation targeted vessels used by Iran to smuggle weapons to the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Over the past year, thousands of Iranian assault rifles and more than a million rounds of ammunition have thus been confiscated. In one particularly fruitful operation, U.S. elements intercepted a stateless Dow called Marwan 1 on its way to Yemen. Like in earlier cases, the vessel was carrying arms from the IRGC to Houthi rebels in violation of a United Nations Security Council resolution. The decision to transfer the seized weapons, which are stored in CENTCOM facilities across the Middle East, to Ukraine, has been a matter of consideration for the Biden administration for several months. The Justice Department and defense officials collaborated to find a legal pathway and civil forfeiture authorities, which is a legal process that enables a government to seize property and other assets belonging to persons suspected of committing a crime for Britannica money, were explored as one of the possible routes. As such, the Justice Department has since filed multiple forfeiture complaints against seized Iranian ammunition and weapons this year alone, CNN reported. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland said on October 4 per The Guardian, we will continue to use every legal authority at our disposal to support Ukraine in their fight for freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. While the seized arms may not fully address all of Ukraine's military needs, it is expected to provide critical support to the war effort. At the end of the day, Ukraine needs various supplies for the war effort, and while this isn't a solution to all of Ukraine's military needs, it will provide critical support, said Jonathan Lord, a senior fellow and director of the Middle East Security Program at the Center for a New American Security, via the Washington Post. Apart from the immediate benefits to Ukraine, this move could also have broader implications for Iran's relationship with Russia. Lord pointed out that Iranian UAVs have been used by the Russian military to attack and murder Ukrainian civilians for over a year. He continued, there is poetic justice in Ukraine utilizing seized Iranian weapons to defend its people against Russia's criminal invasion and abuses. Additionally, this policy may put greater pressure on the burgeoning relationship between Moscow and Tehran.